Now to the coronavirus in this country and the alarming new number tonight. Cases up 17% in just the past two weeks. Dr. Jha telling us it is now a race between the vaccines and the variants and that the variants are pulling ahead. And news tonight on that troubling human error at a factory set to produce the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine, likely affecting millions of future doses. Dr. Fauci on that tonight. And the numbers, 99,088,000 people with at least one dose, 38% of all adults in this country. And the major news tonight involving the Pfizer vaccine, how long is it effective after you get that second shot? What the new data shows, and here's ABC's Ariel Reshef tonight. Tonight, the race to vaccinate a country facing an alarming rise in the coronavirus. Cases up 17% in the last two weeks, with hospital admissions climbing. Eventually, I think the vaccines will win this race, um, but right now the variants are pulling ahead. And while we've got a lot of vaccinations happening, it's not going to be enough. In Michigan today, the first confirmed case of the Brazilian variant, as cases of the UK variant are surging. Beaumont Health now expanding its COVID units after the number of patients quadrupled, many of them younger and unvaccinated. When you take an at-risk population with at-risk behaviors and a virus that's more transmissible, it's really a perfect storm. Tonight, more evidence of the power of vaccine. Pfizer reporting six months after the second dose, the vaccine was at least 91% protective against symptomatic disease and 95% protective against severe disease. The Pfizer vaccine also appears to work against the worrisome South African variant. But Johnson & Johnson is facing fresh scrutiny after an ingredient mix-up at a Baltimore manufacturing plant potentially ruined about 15 million future doses. That it's really quite unfortunate that about 15 million doses are now are not going to be able to be used. But you do have checks and balances, and you see that, and that's the reason why the good news is that it did get picked up. The mistake at Bioemergent caught weeks ago during a quality control check. The FDA saying there was no risk to anyone already vaccinated and none of the ingredients in question made their way into final doses. Johnson & Johnson insists it's still on track to deliver 100 million doses by the end of May. Today, thousands of excited fans filling into stands for baseball's opening day, each stadium with its own safety protocol. At Yankee Stadium, temperature checks and proof of vaccination or a negative test required. But the Texas Rangers will reopen their ballpark at full capacity. The president calling it a mistake. I think it's a mistake. They should listen to Dr. Fauci and the scientists and the experts. Um, and, uh, but uh, I think it's not responsible. Today's game between the Mets and the Washington Nationals postponed due to contact tracing after a Nationals player tested positive. All right, so let's get right to Ariel Reshef tonight. And Ariel, just to underscore why authorities in this country are so concerned talking about those variants that are still spreading just north of the border tonight in Ontario, Canada. They're now facing another wave of the virus, and they're now having a formal shutdown yet again. That's right, David. Officials in Ontario say they will head into a four-week shutdown starting on Saturday. They say they are pulling the emergency break due to the rapidly spreading variants. David. All right, Ariel Reshef with us tonight. Ariel, thank you. And Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.